nothing to be done. I'm beginning to come round to that opinion. All my life I've tried to put it from me, saying, Vladimir, be reasonable. You haven't yet tried everything. And I resume the struggle. So there you are again. Am I? I'm glad to see you back. I thought you were gone forever. Me too. Together again at last. We'll have to celebrate this. But how? Get up till I embrace you. Not now, not now. May one inquire where his highness spent the night? In a ditch. A ditch? Where? Over there. And they didn't beat you? Beat me? Certainly they beat me. The same lot as usual. The same? I don't know. When I think of it, all these years, but for me, where would you be? You'd be nothing more than a little heap of bones at the present minute, no doubt about it. And what of it? It's too much for one man. On the other hand, what's the good of losing heart now? That's what I say. We should have thought of it a million years ago in the 90s. Ah, stop blathering and help me off with this bloody thing. Hand in hand, from the top of the Eiffel Tower among the first. We were presentable in those days. Now it's too late. They wouldn't even let us up. What are you doing? Taking off my boot. Did that never happen to you? Boots must be taken off every day. I'm tired of telling you that. Why don't you listen to me? Help me. It hurts. Hurts? He wants to know if it hurts. No one ever suffers but you. I don't count. I'd like to hear what you'd say if you had what I have. It hurts. Hurts. <laughs> he wants to know if it hurts. You might button it all the same. True. Never neglect the little things of life. What do you expect? You always wait till the last moment. The last moment. Hope deferred maketh the something sick. Who said that? Why don't you help me? Sometimes I feel it coming all the same. Then I go all queer. How shall I say, relieved, and at the same time, appalled. Appalled. Funny. Nothing to be done. Well, nothing. Show. There's nothing to show. Try and put it on again. I'll air it for a bit. There's man all over for you, blaming on his boots the faults of his feet. This is getting alarming. One of the thieves was saved. It's a reasonable percentage. Go, go. What? Suppose we repented. Repented what? Oh, we don't have to go into the details. Our being born. <laughs> dare even laugh anymore. A dreadful privation. Merely smile. It's not the same thing. Nothing to be done. Go, go. What is it? Did you ever read the Bible? The Bible? I must have taken a look at it. Do you remember the Gospels? I remember the maps of the Holy Land. Colored they were. Very pretty. The Dead Sea was pale blue. The very look of it made me thirsty. That's where we'll go, I used to say. That's where we'll go for our honeymoon. We'll swim. We'll be happy. You we'll... should have been a poet. I was. Isn't that obvious? Where was I? How's your fortune? Swelling visibly. Ah, yes, the two thieves. 
Do you remember the story? No. Shall I tell it to you? No. It passed the time. Two thieves crucified at the same time as our Savior. One... Our what? Our Savior. Two thieves. One is supposed to have been saved and the other... Damned. Saved from what? Hell. I'm going. And yet, how is it? This is not boring you, I hope. How is it? That of the four evangelists, only one speaks of a thief being saved. The four were there, or thereabouts. But only one speaks of a thief being saved. Come on, go, go, return the ball, can't you, once in a way? But I find this really most extraordinarily interesting. One out of four. Of the other three, two don't mention any thieves at all. And the third says that both of them abused him. Who? What? Well, what's all this about? Abused who? The Savior. Why? Because he wouldn't save them. From hell? <laughs> Imbecile from death. Well, what of it? Then the two of them must have been damned. And why not? But one of the forces that one of the two was saved. Well, they don't agree, and that's all there is to it. But all four were there, and only one speaks of a thief being saved. Why believe him rather than the other? Who believes him? Everybody. It's the only version they know. People are bloody, ignorant apes. Charming spot. Inspiring prospects. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Goddard. Ah, yes. sure it was here. What? That we were to wait. He said by the tree. Do you see any others? What is it? I don't know. A willow. A where are the leaves? It must be dead. No more weeping. Or perhaps it's not the season. Well, it looks to me more like a bush. A shrub. A bush. A th what are you insinuating? That we've come to the wrong place? He should be here. He didn't say for sure he'd come. And if he doesn't come? We'll come back tomorrow. And then the day after tomorrow. Possibly. And so on. The point Until he comes. You're merciless. We came here yesterday. Ah, uh, no. There. You're mistaken. What did we do yesterday? What did we do yesterday? Yes. Why? Nothing is certain when you're about. In my opinion, we were here. You recognize the place. I didn't say that. Well? But that makes no difference. All the same. That tree. That stone. That... You're sure it was this evening? What? That we were to wait? He said Saturday. I think. You think? I must have made a note of it. But what Saturday? And is it Saturday? Is it not rather Sunday? Or Monday? Or Friday? It's not possible. Or Thursday? What do we do? If he came yesterday and we weren't here, you may be sure he won't come again today. But you said we were here yesterday. Well, I may be mistaken. Yes, but... Let's stop talking for a minute, do you mind? All right. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go! 
I was asleep. Why will you never let me sleep? I felt lonely. I had a dream. Don't tell me. I don't, don't tell me. This one is enough for you? It's not nice of you, Dee Dee. Who am I to tell my private nightmares to if I can't tell them to you? Let them remain private. You know I can't bear that. There are times when I wonder if it wouldn't be better for us to part. You wouldn't go far. Well, that would be too bad. Really too bad. Wouldn't it, Dee Dee, be really too bad when you think of the beauty of the way and the goodness of the wayfarers? Wouldn't it, Dee Dee? Calm yourself. Calm. Calm. Oh, the English say calm. Oh, you know the story of the Englishman in the brothel? Yes. <laughs> Tell it to me. Stop it. <laughs> An Englishman, having drunk a little more than usual, proceeds to a brothel. The board asks him if he wants a fair one, a dark one, or a red-haired one. Go on, stop it! You wanted to speak to me. You had something to say to me? Dee Dee? I have nothing to say to you. You're angry? Forgive me. Come, Dee Dee, give me your hand. Embrace me, don't be stubborn. You stink of garlic. It's for the kidneys. What do we do now? Wait. Yes, but while waiting. What about hanging ourselves? Hmm. It might give us an erection. An erection? With all that follows. Where it falls, mandrakes grow. But that's why they shriek when you pull them up. Did you not know that? Let's hang ourselves immediately. From a vow? I wouldn't trust it. We can always try. Go ahead. After you. No, no, you first. Why me? You're lighter than I am. Just so. I don't understand. Use your intelligence, can't you? I remain in the dark. This is how it is. The vow. The bell. Don't use your head, can't you? You're my only hope. Go, go, light. Bow not break. Go, go, dead. Deedee heavy. Bow break. Deedee alone. Whereas... I hadn't thought of that. If it hangs you, it'll hang anything. But am I heavier than you? So you always tell me. I don't know. There's an even chance. Or nearly. Well, what do we do? Oh, let's do anything. It's safer. Let's wait and see what he says. Who? Gado. Ah, yes. Let's wait till we know exactly how we stand. Well, on the other hand, it might be better to strike the iron before it freezes. I'm curious to hear what he has to offer. Then we'll take it or leave it. Uh, what exactly did we ask him for? Were you not there? My part have been listening. Oh, nothing very definite. A kind of prayer. Precisely. A vague supplication. Exactly. And what did he reply? That he'd see. That he couldn't promise anything. That he'd have to think it over. In the quiet of his home. I'll consult his family. His friends. His agents. His correspondence. His book. His bank account. Before taking a decision. It's a normal thing. Is it not? I think it is. I think so too. And we? I beg your pardon? I said, and we? I don't understand. Where do we come in? Come in? Take your time. Come in. On our hands and knees. As bad as that? Your worship wishes to assert his prerogatives. We've no rights anymore. <laughs> no, no, 
you'd make me laugh if it wasn't prohibited. We've lost our rights. We got rid of them. We're not tied. We're not... Listen. I hear nothing. Nor I. You gave me a fright. I thought it was he. Who? Gado. Ah. The wind in the reeds. I could have sworn I heard shouts. And why would he shout? At his horse. Let's go. Where? Perhaps we'll sleep tonight in his loft. All snug and dry, our bellies full in the hay. That's worth waiting for. No? Not all night. It's still day. I'm hungry. Do you want a carrot? Is that all there is? I might have some turnips. Give me a carrot. It's a turnip. Oh, pardon. I could have sworn it was a carrot. Oh, now, all that's turnips. Oh, you must have eaten the last. Wait. I have it. There, dear fellow. Give me the turnip. Make it last. That's the end of them. I asked you a question. Huh? Uh, did you reply? How's the carrot? It's a carrot. So much the better. So much the better. What was it you wanted to know? I've forgotten. That's what annoys me. Ah, yes, now I remember. Well? We're not dying. I don't hear a word you're saying. I'm asking you if we're tied. Tied? Tired. Well, how do you mean? Tired. Down. But to whom? By whom? To your man. To Gado. Tied to Gado? What a question. <laughs> no question about it. <laughs> the moment. His name is Godot? I think so. Ah, yes. Funny. The more you eat, the worse it gets. With me, it's just the opposite. In other words? I get used to the muck as I go along. Is that the opposite? A question of temperament. Of character. Nothing you can do about it. No use struggling. One is one. Is one what is. No use wriggling. The essential doesn't change. Nothing to be done. Like to finish it. Wow. Be careful. He's wicked. We're strangers. Is that him? Who? Um, Gardo. Yes. I present myself. Pozzo. Not at all. He said Gardo. Not at all. You're not Mr. Gardo, sir? I am Pozzo. Does that name mean nothing to you? I say, does that name mean nothing to you? What's hot so? What's hot so? What's hot so? Ah, hot so. Uh, let me see. Pot so. Is that pot so or bot so? Pot so. Ah, uh, 
no. Uh, no, I'm afraid I... No, I don't see... I once knew a family called Gotso. The mother had the clap. <laughs> oh, we're not from these parts, sir. You are human beings, nonetheless. As far as one can see. Of the same species as myself. Of the same species as Pozzo. Made in God's image! Yet you see... Who is God Godo. You took me for Godo? Oh, no, sir. Not for an instant, sir. Who is he? Well, he's kind of an acquaintance. Nothing of the sort. We hardly know him. True, we don't know him very well, but all the same. But personally, I wouldn't even know him if I saw him. You took me for him. Well, um, that's to say, you understand the dusk, the strain, waiting. I confess, I imagine for a second that... Waiting? So, you were waiting for him. Well, you see... Here, on my lap. We didn't intend any harm. We meant well. The road is free to all. That's how we looked at it. It's a disgrace! But there you are. Nothing we can do about it. Let's say no more about it. Every time he drops, he falls asleep. Up, home, back. Stop. Turn. Gentlemen, I'm happy to have met you. Yes, yes. Sincerely happy. Closer. Yes, the road seems long when one journeys all alone for, yes, six hours, that's right, six hours on end. Never a soul in sight. Come! Hold that! Autumn in the air this evening. Whip! Yes, gentlemen, I cannot go for long without the society of my likes. Even when the likeness is an imperfect one. your permission. I propose to dally with you a moment before I venture any further. Basket! <clears throat> Fresh air stimulates the jaded appetite. <laughs> Basket! What ails him? He looks tired. Why doesn't he put down his bags? How do I know? Oh, oh careful! Say something to him. Look! What? His neck. Oh, my son! A running sore. It's the rope. It's the rubbing. It's inevitable. It's the knot. It's the chafing. 
He's not bad looking. Would you say so? A trifle effeminate. Look at the slobber. It's inevitable. Look at the slaver. Perhaps he's a halfwit. <laughs> a cretin. Looks like a goiter. It's not certain. He's panting. It's inevitable. And his eyes. What about them? Goggling out of his head. Looks at his last gasp to me. It's not certain. Ask him a question. Would that be a good thing? What do we risk? Mr. Louder. Mr. Leave him in peace! Can't you see he wants to rest? Basket! Basket! That's nah, better. Please, sir. What is it, my good man? Uh, you finished with the, uh... You don't need the bone, sir. You couldn't have waited. No, no, he does well to ask. Do I need the bones? No, personally, I don't need them anymore. But, but in theory, the bones go to the carrier. He's therefore the one to ask. But go on, go on, ask him. Don't be afraid. He'll tell you. Mister. Excuse me, mister. You're being spoken to, pig. Reply. Try him again. Excuse me, mister. The bones? You won't be wanting the bones. Damn, mister! Reply! Do you want them or don't you? They're yours. I don't like it. I've never known him refuse a bone before. Nice business it'd be if he fell sick on me. It's a scandal! Are you alluding to anything in particular? Well, to treat a man like that, I think that... No. A human being... No. It's a scandal. A disgrace. You are severe. What age are you, if it's not a rude question? Sixty? Seventy? What age would you say he was? Ageless. I am impertinent. I must be getting on. Thank you for your society. Unless I smoke a pipe before I go, what do you say? I'm only a small smoker, a very small smoker. It makes my heart go pit-a-pat. It's the nicotine. One absorbs it in spite of one's precautions. You know how it is. But perhaps you don't smoke. Yes? No? It's of no importance. But how am I to sit down now without affectation, now that I have risen? Without appearing to, how shall I say, without appearing to falter? I beg your pardon. Or perhaps you didn't speak. It's of no importance. Let me see. Ah, that's better. Let's go. So soon? One moment. Stool. More. There. Done it. Let's go. I hope I'm not driving you away. Wait a little longer, you'll never regret it. We're in no hurry. I'm going. Think twice. 
before you do anything rash. Suppose you go now while it's still day. Well, there's no denying it is still day. Good. What happens in that case to your appointment with this uh, Gade, Gado, Gadin? Anyhow, you see who I mean. Who has your future in his hands, at least your immediate future? Who told you? He speaks to me again. If this goes on much longer, we'll soon be old friends. Why doesn't he put down his bags? When I too would be happy to meet him. The more people I meet, the happier I become. From the meanest creature, one departs wiser, richer, more conscious of one's blessings. Even you, even you, who knows, will have added to my store. Why doesn't he put down his bags? But that would surprise me. You're being asked a question. A question? Who? What? A moment ago, you were calling me sir in fear and trembling, and now you're asking me questions? No good will come of this. I think he's listening. What? You can ask him now. He's on the alert. Ask him what? Why he doesn't put down his bags. I wonder. Ask him, can't you? You want to know why he doesn't put down his bags as you call them? That's it. You are sure you agree with that? Oh, he's puffing like a grandpa's well, The answer is this. Oh, be still a moment, I beg of you. You're making me nervous. Here. What is it? He's about to speak. Good. Is everybody ready? Is everybody looking at me? Will you look at me, pig? Good. <clears throat> I'm ready. <clears throat> Is everybody ready? Is everybody listening? Hog! I don't like talking in a vacuum. Good. <clears throat> what was I saying? I'm going. Uh, what was it exactly you wanted to know? Why he does... Don't interrupt me! Now, if we all speak at once, we'll never get anywhere. Well, what was I saying? What was I saying? Bags. Why? Always hold, never put down. Why? Ah, why couldn't you say so before? Why he doesn't make himself comfortable? Let's try and get this clear. Has he not the right to? Certainly he has. It follows that he doesn't want to. There's reasoning for you. And why doesn't he want to? Gentlemen, the reason is this. Make a note of this. He wants to impress me so that I will keep him. What? No, perhaps I haven't got it quite right. He wants to uh, mollify me so that I would give up the idea of parting with him. No, that's not exactly it either. You want to get rid of him? He wants to cut me, but he won't. You want to get rid of him? He imagines that when I see how well he carries, I would be tempted to keep him on in that capacity. You've had enough of him? In reality, he carries like a pig. It's not his job. You want to get rid of him? He imagines that when I see him indefatigable, I would regret my decision. Such is his miserable scheme, as though I were short of slaves. Atlas, son of Jopitos! That's that, I think. Anything else? You want to get rid of him? Remark that I might just as well have been in his shoes and he in mine, if chance had not fated otherwise. To each one his due. I beg your pardon. I do. But instead of driving him away as I might have done, I mean instead of simply kicking him out on his ass, in the goodness of my heart, I'm bringing him to the fair where I hope to get a good price for him. But the truth is, you can't drive such creatures away. Now the best thing would be to kill them. He's crying. Ha! Old dogs have more dignity. Here, comfort him, since you pity him. Come on, wipe away his tears. He'll feel less forsaken. Oh, 
Here, give it to me. I'll do it. Make haste before he stops. Oh, the swine! He's crippled me! Hankey! Show. Oh. I told you he didn't like strangers. He's bleeding. It's a good sign. He stopped crying. You have replaced him, as it were. The tears of the world are a constant quantity. For each one who begins to weep, somewhere else another stops. And the same is true of the laugh. Ha, ha, ha! Let us not then speak ill of our generation. It is not any unhappier than its predecessors. Let's not speak well of it either. Let's not speak of it at all. It is true the population has increased. Will night never come? Guess who taught me all these beautiful things? My lucky. But for him, all my thoughts, all my feelings would have been of common things. Professional worries, beauty. Grace, truth of the first water. I knew they were all beyond me, so I took a knook. Knook? That was nearly 60 years ago. Yes, nearly 60. You wouldn't think it to look at me, would you, compared to him? I look like a young man, no? Now look. Uh, did you see? And now you turn him away. Such an old and faithful servant. Swine. For after having sucked all the good out of him, now you chuck him away like a... like a banana skin. Really? I can't bear it any longer the way he goes on. You've no idea. It's terrible. He must go. I'm going mad. I can't bear it any longer. He can't bear it any longer. He's going mad. It's terrible. How dare you? It's abominable. Such a good master. Crucify him like that after all these years? Really? He used to be so kind, so helpful and entertaining. My good angel. And now he's killing me. Does he want to replace him? I don't know. Ask him. Gentlemen, <clears throat> I don't know what came over me. Forgive me. Forget all I said. I don't remember exactly what it was, but you may be sure there was not one word of truth in it. Do I look like a man that can be made to suffer? Frankly. What can I have done with my pipe? Charming evening we're having. Unforgettable. And it's not over. Apparently not. It's only beginning. It's awful. Worse than the pantomime. The circus. The music hall. The circus. What can I have done with that briar? <laughs> <laughs> He's a scream. He's lost his doodine. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Ow. I'll be back. End of the corridor on the left. Keep my seat. I've lost my cap and Peter sir. He'll be the death of me. You didn't see by any chance. Oh, he's gone. Without saying goodbye. He might have waited. How could he? He would have burst. Oh, well, of course, in that case. Come here. What for? You'll see. You want me to get up? Quick. Look. Oh, I'm sick. It's all over.
He's not pleased. You missed the treat? Pity. He subsides. Indeed, all subsides. Great calm descends. Listen. Pan sleeps. Don't feel like going until it does. Oh, well, you see... Why, it's very natural, very natural. I, myself, in your situation, if I had an appointment with this, uh, uh, Gardine, Gadon, Gadet, uh, anyhow, you see who I mean, I'd wait till it was black night before I gave up. Very much like to sit down now, but I don't quite know how to go about it. Could I be of any help? If you ask me, perhaps. What? If you ask me to sit down. Would that be a help? I fancy so. Here we go. Be seated, sir, I beg of you. No, no, I wouldn't think of it. Ask me again. Come, come, take a seat, I beseech you. You'll get pneumonia. You really think so? Why, it's absolutely certain. No doubt you are right. Thank you, my good man. But I really must be getting along now if I'm to observe my schedule. Time has stopped. Don't you believe it, sir? Don't you believe it? Whatever you like, but not that. Everything seems black to him today. Except the firmament. <laughs> I see what it is. You're not from these parts. You don't know what our twilights can do. Shall I tell you? I can't refuse you. Um, what was I saying? Let's go. Ah, yes, the night. Look. Will you look at the sky, pig? Good, that's enough. What is there so extraordinary about it? Qua sky. It is pale and luminous like any sky at this time of day, at this time of year, in these latitudes when the weather is fine, an hour ago, roughly, after having poured forth ever since, say, ten o'clock in the morning, tirelessly torrents of red and white light, it begins to lose its effulgence, to grow pale, pale, ever a little paler, a little paler, until, poof, finished, it comes to rest. But behind this veil of gentleness and peace, Night is charging and will burst upon us. Pop. Just like that. Just when we least expect it. And that's how it is on this bitch of an earth. So long as one knows. One can bide one's time. One knows what to expect. No further need to worry. Simply wait. We're used to it. How did you find me? Good. Fair. Middling? Poor? Positively bad. Oh, very good. Very, very good. And you, sir? 
Oh, Trey Bong, Trey, Trey Bong. Bless you, gentlemen, bless you. I have such need of encouragement. Oh, I weakened a little toward the end. You didn't notice. Oh, perhaps just a teeny-weeny little bit. I thought it was intentional. See, my memory is defective. In the meantime, nothing happens. You find it tedious? Somewhat. And you, sir? I've been better entertained. Gentlemen, you've been civil to me. Not at all. What an idea. Yes, yes, you've been correct. So that I ask myself, is there anything I can do in my turn for these honest fellows who are having such a dull, dull time? Even ten francs would be a help. We're not beggars. Is there anything I can do to cheer them up? That's what I ask myself. Even, Even the bones. I've talked to them about this and that. I've explained the twilight, admittedly. But is it enough? That's what tortures me. Is it enough? Even five. That's enough. I couldn't accept less. Is it enough? No doubt. But I'm liberal. It's my nature. This evening. So much the worse for me. For I shall suffer, no doubt about that. Well, what do you prefer? Shall we have him dance, or sing, or recite, or think, or who? Who? You know how to think, you too? He thinks? Certainly. Aloud. Well, he even used to think very prettily once. I could listen to him for hours. So much the worse for me. Well, would you like him to think something for us? I'd rather he'd dance. It'll be more fun. Not necessarily. Wouldn't it, Didi? Be more fun? I'd like, well, to hear him think. Perhaps he could dance first and think afterwards, if it isn't too much to ask him. Would that be possible? By all means, uh, nothing simpler. It's the natural order. Then let him dance. Dance, misery! Is that all? Encore! Ha! <laughs> I do as well myself. <clears throat> With a little practice. He's tired. Hey! He used to dance the farando. Fling, the brawl, the jig, the fandango, and even the hornpipe. He capered for joy. Now, that's the best he can do. You know what he calls it? The net. He thinks he's entangled in a net. Nothing happens. Nobody comes. Nobody goes. It's awful. Tell him to think. Give him his hat. His hat? He can't think without his hat. Give him his hat. Me? After what he did to me? Never. I'll give it to him. Tell him to go and fetch it. It's better to give it to him. I'll give it to him. You must put it on his head. Tell him to take it. It's better to put it on his head. I'll put it on his head.
What's he waiting for? Stand back. Pig! Pig! Stop! Forward! On the other hand, would Stop. you like... Back! Stop! Sing! Given the existence as uttered forth in the public works of Puncher and Watman, of a personal god, qua 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 qua, with white beard, qua 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 qua, outside time, without extension, who from the heights of divine apathia, divine athambia, divine aphasia, loves us dearly, with some exceptions for reasons unknown, but time, will tell and suffers like the divine Miranda with those who for reasons unknown but time will tell are plunged in torment, plunged in fire whose fire flames if that continues and who can doubt it will fire the firmament that is to say blast hell to heaven so blue still and calm so calm, with a calm, which even though intermittent is better than nothing, but not so fast. And considering what is more, that as a result of the labors left unfinished, crowned by the ac 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 Academy of Anthropopometry, a Vessian posse of Testu and Canard, it is established beyond all doubt, all other doubt, than that which clings to the labors of men, that as a result of the labors unfinished of Testu and Canard, it is established as here and after, but not so fast for reasons unknown, that as a result of the public works of Puncher and Watman, it is established beyond all doubt, then in view of the labors of Fartoff and Belcher, left unfinished for reasons unknown of Testu and Canard, left unfinished, it is established what many deny, that man in posse of Testu and Canard, that man in Essie, that man in short, that man in brief, in spite of the strides of alimentation and defecation, wastes and pines, wastes and pines, and concurrently, simultaneously, what is more for reasons unknown, in spite of the strides of physical culture, the practice of sports, such as tennis, football, running, cycling, swimming, flying, flying, Floating, riding, gliding, canadian, kimoji, skating, tennis of all kinds, dying, flying, sports of all sorts, autumn, summer, winter, winter, tennis of all kinds, hockey of all sorts, penicillin and succadania. In a word, I resume, flying, gliding, golf over nine and eighteen holes, tennis of all sorts. In a word, for reasons unknown, in feck and peck and pull and clap and namely concurrently, simultaneously, what is more for reasons unknown, but time will tell, fades away. I resume, full and clap em. In a word, the dead lost per head since the death the Bishop Barclay, being to the tune of one inch four ounce per head, approximately by and large, more or less, to the nearest decimal good measure round figures, stark naked in the stocking feet in Connemara. In a word, for reasons unknown, no matter what matter, the facts are there. And considering what is more, much more grave, that in the light of the labors lost of Steinweg and Peterman, it appears what is more, much more grave, that in the light, the light, the light of the labors lost of Steinweg and Peterman, that in the plains, in the mountains, by the seas, by the rivers, running water, running fire. The air is the same, and then the earth, namely the air, and then the earth, and the great cold, the great dark. The air and the earth are bowed in stones in the great cold. Alas, alas! In the year of their Lord, 600 and something, the air, the earth, the sea, the earth are bowed in stones in the great deeps, the great cold on sea, on land, and in the air I resume for reasons unknown. In spite of the tennis, the facts are there, but time will tell, I resume. Alas, alas! On, on, in short and fine. On, on, a boat of stones. Who can doubt it? I resume, but not so fast. I resume the skull fading, 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 and concurrently, simultaneously, what is more for reasons unknown, in spite of the tennis. On, on, the beard, the flames, the tears, the stones, so blue, so calm. Alas, alas, on, on, the skull, the skull, the skull, the skull in Connemara. In spite of the tennis, the labor's abandoned, left unfinished grave is still a boat of stones. In a word, I resume, alas, alas, abandoned, unfinished, the skull, the skull in Connemara. In spite of the tennis, alas, the skull, the stones, canard, tennis, 
the stones shall call him Canard unfinished! <laughs> Avenged. Give me that. There's an end to his thinking. But will he be able to orientate himself? I'll orientate him. Up, pig. Perhaps he's dead. You kill him. He's doing it on purpose. You must hold him! Come on! Come on! Raise him up! To hell with him! Come on! Come on! Once more! What does he take us for? Come on! Don't let him go! Don't move! Hold him! Don't let him go! Hold him tight. Now you can let him go. Forward! Done it. He can walk. Gentlemen, let me wish you, let me wish you, uh, wish you. What can I have done with my watch? A genuine half hunter, gentlemen, with deadbeat escapement. It was my grandpapa gave it to me. Well, ah, oh, perhaps I dropped it. Well, now, isn't that just... Perhaps it's in your fob. Wait. I hear nothing. Come and have a listen. Surely one could hear the tick tick silence. I hear something. Where? It's the heart. Ugh, damnation. Silence. Perhaps it has stopped. Which of you smelled so bad? He has stinking breath and I have stinking feet. I must go. And your heart, Hunter? I must have left it at the manor on the Steinway. Then adieu. 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 And thank you. Thank you. Not at all. Yes, yes. No, no. Yes, yes. No, no. I don't seem to be able to... to depart. Such is life. You're going the wrong way. I hear you're running. Stop. Stand back. On! 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 Faster! 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 Stool! 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 Adieu. Adieu. Adieu.
Adieu the time. It would have passed in any case. Yes, but not so rapidly. What do we do now? I don't know. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Gado. Ah, uh, yes. How they've changed. Who? Those two. That's the idea. Let's make a little conversation. Haven't they? What? Changed. Very likely, they all change. Only we can't. Likely, it's certain. Didn't you see them? Well, I suppose I did, but I don't know them. Yes, you do know them. No, I do. We know them, I tell you. You forget everything. Unless they're not the same. Why didn't they recognize us then? That means nothing. I too pretended not to recognize them. And then nobody ever recognizes us. Forget it. What we need... Ow. Ow. Unless they're not the same. Dee Dee, it's the other foot. they're not the same. Mister? Off we go again. Approach my child. Mr. Albert? Yes? What do you want? Approach. Approach when you're tall, can't you? What is it? Mr. Gatto. Obviously. Approach. Will you approach? What kept you so late? You have a message. For Mr. Gardo. Yes, sir. Well, what is it? What kept you so late? Let him alone. You let me alone. Do you know what time it is? It's not my fault, sir. And whose is it? Mine. I was afraid, sir. Afraid of what? Of us? That's a me! I know what it is. He was afraid of the others. How long have you been here? A good while, sir. You were afraid of the whip? Yes, sir. The roars? Yes, sir. The two big men? Yes, sir. Do you know them? No, sir. Are you a native of these parts? Do you belong to these parts? Yes, sir. That's all a pack of lies. Tell us the oh, truth! But it is a truth, sir. Will you let him alone? What's the matter with you?
What is the matter with you? I'm unhappy. Not really. Since when? I'd forgotten. Extraordinary the tricks that memory plays. I've seen you before, haven't I? I don't know, sir. You don't know me? No, sir. It wasn't you who came yesterday? No, sir. This is your first time? Yes, sir. Words. Words. Speak. Mr. Gatto told me to tell you he won't come this evening, but surely tomorrow. Is that all? Yes, sir. You work for Mr. Gatto? Yes, sir. What do you do? I mind the goats, sir. Is he good to you? Yes, sir. He doesn't beat you? No, sir. Not me. Whom does he beat? He beats my brother, sir. Ah, you have a brother. Yes, sir. What does he do? He minds the sheep, sir. Why doesn't he beat you? I don't know, sir. He must be fond of you. I don't know, sir. Does he give you enough to eat? Does he feed you well? Fairly well, sir. And you're not unhappy? Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Well? I don't know, sir. You don't know if you're unhappy or not? No, sir. You're as bad as myself. Where do you sleep? In the loft, sir. With your brother? Yes, sir. In the hay? Yes, sir. All right. You may go. What am I to tell Mr. Gatto, sir? Tell him. Tell him that you saw us. You did see us, didn't you?
What are you doing? Pale for weariness. Eh? Of climbing heaven and gazing on the likes of us. Your boots. What are you doing with your boots? I'm leaving them there. Another will come just as... as... as me, but with smaller feet, and they'll make him happy. But you can't go barefoot. Christ did. Christ? What has Christ got to do with this? You're not going to compare yourself to Christ. All my life I've compared myself to him. And but where he lived, it was warm, it was dry. Yes, and they crucified quick. You've nothing more to do here. Nor anywhere else. Ah, oh, go, go. Don't go on like that. Tomorrow, everything will be better. How do you make that out? Did you not hear what the child said? No. He said, Gado is sure to come tomorrow. Now, what do you say to that? And all we have to do is to wait on here. Are you mad? We must take cover. Come on. Pity we haven't got a bit of rope. Come on. It's cold. Remind me to bring a bit of rope tomorrow. Yes. How long have we been together? All the time now. I don't know. Fifty years, perhaps. Do you remember the day I threw myself into the row? We were grape harvesting. You fished me out. No good harking back on that. My clothes dried in the sun. Wait. I'm cold. I sometimes wonder if we wouldn't have been better off alone. Each one for himself. We weren't made for the same road. Not certain. No, nothing is certain. We can still part, if you think it would be better. It's not worthwhile now. No, it's not worthwhile now. Well. Shall we go? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 